हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू एकेडमिक ड्रीम चैनल एज यू नो एकेडमिक ड्रीम चैनल इज ए क्लासरूम फॉर बीएड कोर्स वी आर कंटिन्यूसली डिस्कसिंग अबाउट डिफरेंट कंटेंट कोर्स टॉपिक्स ऑफ बीएड कोर्स अंडर एनसीटी इन द कंटिन्यूएशन ऑफ आवर डिस्कशन टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक फ्रॉम द कोर्स कंटेंट कंटेम्पररी कंसर्न एंड इश्यू दैट इज द टाइटल ऑफ द सब्जेक्ट और सिंपली इश्यूज ऑफ इंडियन एजुकेशन टॉपिक में सॉरी सब्जेक्ट में भी इन एनी हेडिंग में भी कंटेम्पररी कंसर्न एंड इश्यू और इश्यूज ऑफ इंडियन एजुकेशन और करेंट इंडियन एजुकेशन सो टॉपिक इज टेकन as a question in the form of question the question let us see very clearly first of all question is do you think rural urban inequality impacts on school education in our country illustrate in different universities the question on rural urban inequalities are seen in final examination so rural urban inequality is one of the issue in modern indian education and that is rightly true from old ages we can see this issue from before independence so the variety of question is asked on rural urban inequality rural urban inequality so rural area is village area areas urban areas are town city areas so if you observe we always see that in educational environment in educational accommodation and in other facilities rural areas are always lagging behind in comparison of urban areas so a number of question is asked in relation to this particular issue that is rural urban inequality and due to this rural urban urban inequality we can see always inequalities in education system of india so regarding this issue some other question also asked what are the causes of rural urban inequalities how you can solve the rural urban inequalities but this question is one of the latest question related to rural urban inequality that is do you think rural urban inequality actually the question uh, really the question set i like to uh, understand uh, really you understand what is rural urban inequalities do you deeply go into the problem so this question is very intellectual question and do you think rural urban inequalities impact on school education in our country that means rural urban inequalities as a whole disturbs the whole educational environment of our country the rural urban inequalities directly hampers directly one of the barrier of universalization of education in our country up to the secondary level so probably you understood this is very serious issue in indian education so how it affects the education system of our country as a whole rural urban inequalities how it impacts on indian education system what are its effect how it is one of the uh, problem on indian education so in favor of this question i have pointed 10 points which says the rural urban inequality is one of the cards or a very dangerous if, uh, effect on the indian education system so first point i have mentioned here one of the problem of universalization of education we have not attained to the goal of universalization of education in our country 
and one of the region is rural urban inequalities number two argument rural parents are not conscious in all ages if we observe the educational environment of rural area and village area i mean these are town areas or city areas in all ages from long before independence till now it is seen that rural parents are always unconscious about the future of the children about the education system of the children and why they are lagging behind because they are in rural area that is only their cause number 3 less school in rural areas if we see within 1 km radius we can see 2 3 4 5 school colleges and so on in urban area but in rural area sometime after 5 km 7 km 10 km distance one school uh, in between two schools so that is also one of the problem for the children of uh, village area number 4 poor communication in all ages due to poor education system village people are in many cases unaware and due to that reason there is very poor communication system in village area and very poor communication system between inhabitant i mean to say uh, the uh, uh, house of the uh, individual house of the children and to the school so due to this com uh, this communication system is also indirectly one of the effect of rural urban inequality but in comparison to that in urban area we can see very good communication system uh, that uh, uh, school and home are uh, connected by very good type of roads like that number 5 poor condition of women education so as there is distinction as there is inequality among rural areas and i mean to say rural area between rural area and urban area so women education is always lagging behind or there is poor condition of women education in our country in village areas in comparison to town areas so indirectly this is also one of the effect in whole education system because village people are also living in india number 6 rural students are not aware about vocational education if we observe we can see that students of children of city area urban area are always aware about vocational education they are very much conscious about the future of the education future of their life and due to this the children of the students of town areas city areas are always ahead in comparison to the children of rural areas and it is seen in all ages so it is direct effect on education system of india leaders are attentive to urban areas so leaders get good publicity in urban area so most of the leaders in our country give attention in urban areas they establish new school they give new facilities to the urban and city area due to that village areas are lagging behind they are in poor condition from all ages there is poor condition of education system all children are un unable to go to school of urban areas now if we think that our children of village areas 
students of village area should go to urban areas as there is good facilities. Some of the parents are able to send their, their children to the school of urban areas, but some of them, it may be point some percent, it may be point percent, or it may be one percent, two percent parent may be able to send their children to the schools of urban area by their own car. But it is not possible for everyone. So, all children are not able. That means all the children are unable. So, ultimately what? Ultimately, the children of rural areas, the education condition of rural areas are always poor in all ages, year after year, generation after generation, age after age. Number nine, good schools are really in urban areas. If we say good school, name of some good school, it will definitely come from urban areas. If we say good schools of Assam, good schools of Bengal, good schools of India, uh, India as a whole, then we can see that good name of good schools are always from city area, urban area. Results in the high, high school level, in higher secondary level, always good from city and urban area. So this implies that the education system is one of the of India is always affected by this rural urban inequality. It is itself is a barrier in the spread of education. Next number ten, good teachers are in urban areas. As good as good schools are always in urban area in the same way. Really good teachers have good academic career also. So they get opportunities in good schools to, uh, to take job in good schools and good schools are always in urban area. So ultimately good schools are in urban areas, good teachers are also in urban areas, facilities and accommodations are also in urban area, leaders give attention in urban area, but urban areas is hardly 30% of land of our country. I mean to say hardly uh, people of urban areas is hardly 30% in our country. Most of the people live in village and that village is neglected. If village are neglected, then education system ultimately neglected. We cannot go upward. We cannot go forward. When village people are poor, we cannot say that we are rich. So there are a number of logic, these are logic, these are point which reveals, which reflect, which say definitely that rural urban equality impacts on education system in our country. Do you think? Yes, I think. You should think that rural urban inequalities impact on education system of our school and all these are logic or argument in favor of your thinking. So I think so you have understood better today. We'll meet once again by taking a new issue. Well then, thank you.